Hello my soccer universe. I was all ready to change this just before I'm going away uh, to the Nations League background. I've prepared everything for the Nations League. Um, and then probably one of the crazier days in soccer happened. Uh, with the most crazy thing is that the little guy wearing an Argentina jersey said he wants to leave Barcelona. I mean, that sent shockwaves all through European soccer. And there's no doubt about that. Uh, also puts me a little bit in trouble now because I... Uh, this will be now my first video for the 2020-21 season. I wanted to do it, um, you know, separate by the four big leagues and keep everything nicely together. But I guess I'll file this under uh, La Liga for now. And we'll see about that. Uh, usually I do not. I really don't want to react to transfer rumors and so on. Uh, but this one is too much fun to pass up the uh, opportunity to talk about it. And yeah, I even changed my background reflecting a little bit. Where could the little guy end up? Lionel Messi wanted to leave. Quickly before that, the other two crazy thing was that Harry Maguire, uh, hence the United shirt here. <laughs> uh, got convicted in Greece of, you know, resisting arrest and doing all kinds of crazy shit. That's gonna be interesting. And the other one is that Conte had a huge meeting only with the club owner and seemingly he will stay, he will not stay. Let's see all about all that. Um, that would not have been news, but Lionel Messi, I mean, he already intended, said he wants out and I think he's tired of what I said. This blank stare of complete despair uh, after a match with Barcelona and or even Argentina. I mean, he even quit Ar Argentina. And yeah, he, he was persuaded to go back to Argentina. So let's see how it will go this time. Now, uh, the big one is, of course, where could he go? And I said, okay, let's have here a couple of jerseys of teams where potentially he could go. Uh, with the higher up list, the more likely I find it uh, for him to end up at, uh, and also teams that probably potentially could afford him. And most importantly, he wants to win. And when he says he wants to win, he wants to win the Champions League. And that's the only reason why those two, Bayern and Liverpool are up there. I really don't think he will go to either of them. Liverpool, I think, plays too aggressive of a style that they would change the team for him. Also, it does not fit really with the club's philosophy. Bayern, I could see more, but it also doesn't fit Bayern to get a super, super, superstar. I think that would also destroy a little bit the... I think Bayern is very acutely aware of a gelling team or not. So those are only there because, yeah, they won recently the Champions League. I think both teams currently should be considered the best in Europe. Uh, the way they have been playing. I think it was a fluke that Liverpool got eliminated. And so there, those would be obvious choices if you want to win. But I think the most obvious choice of them all is Manchester City. If he leaves Barcelona, I think, uh, or if he will be allowed to leave Barcelona, because that's why Barcelona is still up there. <laughs> because although he says the intention, um, it all hinges on the contract. Uh, we'll talk about that in a sec. But Manchester City would make a whole lot of sense for the simple reason he would like to play again under Guardiola. And I think Manchester City is would actually benefit from having... He would fit right in there. Or Guardiola knows how to get the best out of him. So for that reason, I think Manchester City is a very strong candidate. In addition, they could afford his wages and potentially even could uh, afford um, buying him out of a contract if that needs to be. Uh, the other team that probably really could do that is PSG up there. Um, they would have the financial backing. I actually think that they could uh, be interesting for uh, Messi to just put them over the top. I mean, think about the front line. Mbappé, Neymar and Messi. Ooh. Since Neymar wanted to rejoin Barcelona to play with Neymar, Messi, I think the reason why Neymar left is to get away from Messi. It might not, uh, might actually be um, no, uh, not there anymore. 
Although I'm not sure how Neymar would feel if he's about to share the spotlight, but I think that front line would be great. Uh, you would put Di Maria on the back. What they would definitely need then is also a little bit more... Uh, I mean, they have good passes in midfields, but, you know, a little bit more structure in midfield there. So uh, for that reason, I think PSG would make sense. The big con for PSG is uh, Liga. Um, Messi wants to win, a PSG wins the league quite easily. I think this is a, this is holding PSG back is that Ligue 1 is maybe not as competitive. We'll get to Ligue 1 actually in a little bit because Ligue 1 is a good league, but um, you know, if there's a team so toying around, the same thing goes actually, I think, for Bayern in the Bundesliga, although it has been a little bit tighter there. So um, that could potentially be a deterrent, but on the other side, you know, Neymar went there and it would give a huge lift to Ligue 1 for sure if Messi would go there. So I think this, uh, from a fantasy football perspective, would probably be my dream move. Now, I keep Barcelona up there for the simple reason that he has a contract that he kind of extended. He now says it should be the end of the season was after Corona, so... Maybe he has a point there. Um, I don't know if he's calling the bluff of Bartomeu uh, to really force him out uh, and call for new elections. I don't know if that's it or if he really wants to see something new. Because, you know, Ronaldo officially challenged him to look for new pastures. So uh, I do not exclude him staying at Barcelona. Now, if he really wanted to uh, show the finger to Barcelona, he would. He could go to Real Madrid, but I really, really don't think so. I think uh, he is very aware that Real Madrid is probably not the place to go for him, uh, but it would be the biggest FU uh, in football history, I would have to say, or at least a recent one. Uh, definitely bigger than Figo. Um, I would only find parallels in American sports where this happened. So yeah, I don't see it happening. Real Madrid, I think up until recently, would have been a prime candidate to land a player of the Messi stature. I really don't think they would be going for that. I don't even think he would fit in Zidane's system. Um, now I'm having here Juve next to my head. A Juve... Uh, I don't think Juve can, 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 can afford it. They need to get a really rid really, uh, of a lot of, a lot of players. And maybe, yeah, maybe Barcelona, given that they like their old players, maybe they will take off uh, Iguain and uh, Aaron Ramsey and all those players on high salaries high, high in exchange for uh, Messi. They have done, I mean, they gave them Pjanic and gave Arthur. So, I mean, uh, it's not that... Uh, they have done stupid dealings with, uh, haven't done stupid dealings with um, Juve before. Messi and Ronaldo in a team sounds intriguing. Will it happen? Most likely not. The same thing. I mean, many Italians say that Inter is an option. Uh, I don't see Messi under Conte. Under Conte. Uh, who, Conte is way too ambitious. And I think this will just be a fractious practitious relationship. Um, Manchester United in England and Chelsea in England could also do, but Chelsea is having already so such big expenses. I think they want to build a little bit more. They will not go for him. And I think Manchester United is not attractive enough. Crazy to say that, but I, don't, I really think they are not attractive enough for uh, Messi to go to. Now, some teams that I would love that he goes to. I mean, uh, of course, my favorite teams, Lusk and Milan. Yeah, we'll take Messi anytime. I actually, uh, all George, I actually I think he would fit in very well with Milan, except for the salary structure. Milan still needs to watch the salaries. I also don't know, Slatan and Messi, I don't know how, how that would work out. But I think a player of the Messi-like would fit really nicely in the front of... Um, Milan, and I think they would also have to have the midfield. The big downside for Milan, of course, is they're not in the Champions League and they're not going to win uh, the Champions League uh, in the next, or let's say, three, three, four years. Some, something like that. Um, Roma would be interested by the same reasons uh, for, for Milan. They're not in the Champions League. I really would love to see me, uh, Messi in Atalanta. I think this would be just... Uh, because this would be the, you know, you don't go to a big team, you go to a small team. It's just Atalanta can, cannot afford him. Uh, as simple as that. Same thing, I would love him to go to Ajax. I have Ajax up there as well. That would be interesting too. 
So yeah, where do you think Messi will go? I actually think there will be a huge drawn out legal battle. I actually think that he might actually, when La Liga uh, starts, he might still be in, at Barcelona. Uh, not sure if he will be playing or if he will be holding out or whatever. But um, I don't think when the season starts that he will already be at a new team, which is a big downside for him. Now that I'm already making a new video, uh, let's talk very briefly about the results in Liga. Uh, I actually saw very little of the opening game, which was horrible and dreadful. Although two big names with Bordeaux and Nantes, but two shots on goal, nil-nil. Red card uh, also earlier uh, was not a great one. Angers beat Dijon. Uh, that was the first one. Lille uh, Rennes was a one-one, and I wanted to watch the one. I just my internet connection let let me down. Uh, Monaco, I think, came back from a two-nil down uh, at Reims. Lorient, the promoted team, three-one against uh, Strasbourg. Nîmes storms four-nil over Brest into their first lead of the season, and Nice uh, against Lens uh, completes also another promoted team with Lens. Uh, completes the round. There are three more games that will be played mid-September. Uh, of course, Lyon and PSG because they play in the Champions League and Marseille Saint Etienne should have been the opener, but because Marseille had so many Corona infections, uh, that game had to be postponed. And so we have the first league on the table, and this is now the new format that I'm going to use for this season. So you see it here for the first time. I don't have the chances yet. I, I'm working on it. 538 had didn't have it out yet, so. I, 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 I'm working today on trying to compute uh, chances. It's, I know how to, how, how to do it, but it's a little bit more um, uh, pro, uh, complicated. Uh, I, I, I don't have time. I want to get them this messy video out. Uh, you will not always see the goal average on front, and this, this balance measure is zero means that everything is even, and the more this balance... I want to try this for reference. It's kind of a Gini coefficient on the point total. Uh, how distributed are the points, how evenly distributed at the moment. Point 0.5 is already kind of in the middle. Yeah, because we have a few with three and then a few uh, some with zero. I want to see how it works out, whether this is a good measure. But yeah, uh, these are the current settings. Nîmes, Lorient and Nice. What a great ending this would be to the season. It will not be. Uh, note now that we have a third category for Europe. We have the Champions League spot, so the first three with the third spot in France being a Champions League playoff. Uh, Angers goes, would go to the Europa League and Stade de Reims at the moment uh, would go to the new Conference League. Well, a weird name to be honest, but yeah. Uh, and of course we see uh, promotion and uh, um, re uh, the playoffs for promotion, relegation and so on, but still lots to be played. Anyway, Messi was the big subject of the video. Please let me know your thoughts. Where do you think Messi could go? I I have a feeling he will go. And I had that feeling for a while or already. I think he had enough of Barcelona. Uh, already at the end of last season when they lost to Liverpool. And then they couldn't get the player Neymar that he wanted. But they got Greek, you could see. And from that moment on, Barcelona was a mess. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!